Hi, I'm Dr. Ted McLeod. Welcome to the San Francisco General Hospital campus. And I'm gonna take you on a tour of Pride Hall. The Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital campus is located in the Mission District, right near Potrero Hill. We have really accessible parking. There is street parking that you can take or shuttles. Welcome to Pride Hall. I'm gonna take you on a tour of the three floors that we occupy for the Orthopedic Trauma Institute. The first floor is where our conference rooms and our surgical training facility are located. The second floor are our research labs and the third floor are where our academic offices are located. Come along. And this is the first floor of Pride Hall. We have our large conference rooms here on the side. There are three of them located next to each other to allow for either smaller groups or really quite large groups. The benefit is that we can accommodate any group from 50 to 250 people. And it's adjacent to the surgical training facility, which allows for interactive learning. We're now walking down from the conference rooms to the surgical training facility here on the first floor of Pride Hall. On the right-hand side, we'll have the entrance to the surgical training facility, and it's connected to our digital science lab. And Dr. Marmer and Dr. Tugood will tell you a little bit more about that. BTF, or the Biomechanical Testing Facility, has been uh, with us for many years, and it's a, it's a place where residents and uh, faculty have been bringing their ideas for uh, innovation and testing them in an uh, environment that's easy to access and easy to perform uh, experiments in. This is STF, so you see the big space where all the surgical training is happening. And right next to it, the same hallway, you've got a biomechanical testing facility, and from last year, also the digital science lab. Uh, the digital science lab, uh, we just launched that last year. The purpose of this lab is to bring yeah. digital science or uh, digital technology, AI, uh, into the musculoskeletal field. So when you go into the lab, we have our uh, cadaver space, so we can roll over cadavers that have been just worked on in the surgical training facility into this space of the lab, where we have a C-arm and an, and a OR setup. We we'll continue the dissections. Uh, this is the main space, which is ve very modular. We can, uh, we can uh, move things around, uh, build all kinds of experimental setups, use it for uh, motion tracking and for filming. On the back end here, we have uh, some surgical equipment and the uh, 3D printers. This uh, final space is where we uh, do our biomechanical testing, uh, as well as where we keep our ultrasound machine. Uh, but we would love to have a uh, more collaborative work with uh, CCMBM and then with, uh, with uh, uh, other labs in the department because this is a great space to do research. In case you haven't been to the new surgical training facility, it's absolutely worth a visit. It's a beautiful, um, brand new version um, of what we had before. It's located on the first floor of the Pride Hall building. Um, you basically keep going straight back and it's on your right. And it is a larger facility than we had before. It has, I think, up to eight different stations for work on cadavers. As before, we have um, our own autoclaves and we have sea arms that are available. We um, have the same great staff that we've always had there to help us run our courses. And of course, everything's brand new. It's definitely a well-designed space. Um, you know, when you walk into the space initially, you're in the lecture hall. Um, and so it's just sort of natural to begin with some didactics. And then when you wrap that up, you literally just open one door and then you're in the area where you're gonna put on your gowns, your gloves, um, change into your scrubs, the lead and the fluoroscopy machines are right there. And then you take a left and then you're right into the lab. The bathrooms are right down the hall. It's just a well-designed uh, space. Uh, well, it's certainly worth knowing as an orthopedic surgeon that uh, we have fluoroscopy available um, in the lab. So we can do basic dissections, but we can also do um, instrumentation. Welcome to the second floor of Pride Hall. Here we have our orthopedic research labs. The labs are located directly adjacent to office spaces and workspaces that allow for interaction between the dry lab researchers and the wet lab researchers, or for wet lab researchers to take time and work in open spaces. The lab also has an open space design, which allows for collaborations between orthopedics and other departments that are located on this floor. 
Dr. Ralph Marcuzio, who's the director of orthopedic research labs here at Zuckerberg San Francisco General, is going to explain a little bit more about how the lab works and what sort of research projects we have going on. So our research labs are on the second floor of Pride, second floor of Pride Hall. Um, in the PIs are myself, Ted McLeod, Kazuhito Morioki, um, Nathan Young, and Chelsea Bainey. It's modern research space. Um, it's contiguous space. It's open space. We're next to other labs, so we can interact with other laboratories. There's like a central open space where our laboratory is, where all, everybody has their bench. And then off of that space, there's a cell culture room, there's a histology suite, and there's a microscopy suite. All the researchers now are at this campus are all, all now in one location. We used to be scattered throughout the campus. And, and so that makes it really nice because we can meet more people and, you know, we can share equipment now, which we, you know, couldn't do before. So it's filled with a diverse group of people who are doing really diverse research projects. There's like a, you know, huge wealth of opportunity uh, to take advantage of in these locations in very or organic ways because we're all intermixed with each other. The trauma component of this hospital is a, a major pillar of the hospital. And so having research on that major pillar in on this campus is an important thing. And then the lab is over here. So this is our lab space. Um, we have benches that go all the way down to here. So everybody has assigned bench space. We have equipment on the benches. And you can see, if you look down the hallway, there's all laboratories that go all the way down there. And so that's what I was saying about this being very collaborative open space because we share this whole space with a bunch of other investigators. And then we have a histology suite, biochemistry suite. And then we have a cell culture room. And then in here we have an imaging suite and a small animal surgical suite. So we're on the third floor now of Pride Hall and each of the floors has this beautiful town hall space. The town hall spaces serve to have coffee or communal conversations, interactions, lunches, meals, and it's a wonderful space to collaborate and with a beautiful view of Bernal Heights in the background. The third floor of Pride Hall is also home to the OTI's academic offices. The office areas offer a quiet place to focus, while the huddle room has a small library and is perfect for medium-sized group meetings. There are also larger group meeting rooms on the floor for up to 15 people. The lounge provides a casual spot to have a small meeting or enjoy coffee and take a break. The third floor dry lab space is also home to our clinical research center and our international outreach initiatives. I'm Sam Morshed and I direct the clinical research program here. We have a vibrant clinical research program that involves both investigator-initiated trials as well as multi-center and multinational trials. We run about 12 different clinical trials here at any given time. These are studies that are focused on trauma recovery and are funded by federal agencies like the, the Department of Defense and the NIH. The heart of the research that we do here is patient-focused and committed to generating research that improves the lives of all patients who are injured. The way that the OTI was set up, even when we were in Building 9, I think was a really innovative model and actually foretold the story that we see here now in Pride Hall. I do think it, it lowers the barrier to, to collaborating. I still think there's a benefit to seeing people in a physical space, and I think that this building really enhances those opportunities. So at UCSF, we have a program called the Institute for Global Orthopedics and Traumatology, or IGOT. IGOT is uh, our department's global outreach initiative um, that partners with academic centers in developing countries to support their education and training and facilitate you know, bi-directional exchange. So all residents at UCSF have the opportunity uh, to go abroad for a one-month clinical rotation. The most common sites right now where people are going are uh, Tanzania and Ghana. And these are uh, really wonderful experiences where you have the opportunity to travel abroad. You're working at a partnering academic center, so you're getting to work with an incredible clinical experience where you see a breadth of uh, pathologies that you would probably never see uh, in the United States. The resident rotation happens in the fourth year of residency, uh, but there are these opportunities to get involved uh, right from the beginning. The naming of Pride Hall, the idea behind it is that people who are working on this campus, the missions that they had, they would be prideful of their uh, activities here on this campus. Not only is it a state-of-the-art facility, but it also, by having people close together, it breaks down a lot of the silos that existed prior to Pride Hall opening. 
Thank you everyone for coming on this tour of Pride Hall. We hope to see you again and would love to welcome you either as a visitor or collaborator into this fabulous institution.